Not all forensic extractions from cell phones are created equal. Different levels of extractions get different amounts of data, and depending on the type of case that you have, it's really gonna matter that you get the right one. If you have a case where you don't need deleted data and other information like that, you can do a certain level of extraction. But if you need to know you've got everything to ensure that you have best evidence and so that you're not at risk for spoliation or negative inferences down the line, you're gonna need a different type of extraction. Today, that's what we're talking about. So first, what exactly is a forensic extraction or acquisition of data from a cell phone? Well, first of all, this is not subpoenaing or getting data from carriers or from different service providers like Google or Amazon. This is actually talking about getting data directly from the phone itself, utilizing specialized hardware and software designed for digital forensic professionals uh, who are specialized in cell phone forensics. Also understand that this technology is not the same uh, that's used by your T-Mobile store or Verizon location where they transfer your data from one phone to another. Uh, this is very different technology that's getting access to much, much more data uh, than those techniques would ever allow. Further, this technology is not reserved only for law enforcement use. Yes, law enforcement and your alphabet soup agencies have extensive amounts of technology to pull data from cell phones, mobile devices, and more, uh, but so do private labs. Remember that for every case, uh, there is an opportunity to have an expert on both sides, independent experts who are trying to analyze those facts. So what are the different levels of extraction that can be performed against a cell phone? Well, first we have a logical extraction, then we have a file system extraction, a physical extraction, and finally an advanced file system extraction. So first, what is a logical extraction of a cell phone? Well, that is extracting the data that you can see as a normal user. It's kind of like a fancy iTunes backup. It's getting all the data you can see and other information as well that you can't, but it's not getting that truly deleted data. A logical acquisition or extraction works by actually communicating with the phone with an API, an application programming interface, literally like an app uh, that's a cell phone forensics fancy app that's designed to talk to the phone to make it give up its data. Next up, we have a file system extraction. Unlike a logical extraction, with a file system extraction, you don't need to use that API, that application programming interface, that fancy app that allows you to communicate with the phone to get the data as within a logical extraction. In a file system extraction, you are able to get access to the storage memory of the phone itself, okay? So when that happens, you're able to get databases and other information that you're not gonna get with a purely logical extraction. Now note, a file system extraction gets all the data you're gonna get from the logical and you're getting more. And those databases, like I just mentioned, are rich repositories of data, including potentially deleted data because of how databases work on cell phones. Now we come to a physical extraction from a cell phone. Now a physical extraction gets all the data you would get in the logical extraction, all the data you would get in the file system extraction and more. This is because a physical extraction is a perfect bit for bit copy of the actual storage media itself on the cell phone. What does that mean? That means you're getting access to the deleted area on the phone called unallocated space and other places like that, which allow forensic examiners to carve out and recover deleted data. So you may find yourself wondering, if a physical extraction is so good, why bother with a file system? Why bother with a logical extraction ever? Well, that's an excellent question and the reason of this video. You see, with a physical extraction, you do get everything, but with modern encryption technology utilized by most smartphones today, you're not gonna get access to a physical extraction. Just not gonna happen. And that brings us to our final form of extraction, that advanced file system extraction. This extraction methodology utilizes highly specialized mobile device and cell phone forensic hardware and software. This technology allows for the bypassing or getting through of some of the security features on modern smartphones so that you can get the most complete data set possible that can be recovered from that device. To enumerate all the benefits of an advanced file system or full file system extraction is gonna be another video. But for now, understand that you're able to recover data you're not gonna get in any other way using this method. For example, let's say you had a trucking accident case. You may wanna know if someone was literally touching the screen at the time of the incident or leading up to it. What if they were switching applications, scrolling between them after they swiped up? Perhaps they changed the audio from their speaker phone to a Bluetooth headset. Or what if they were watching YouTube and typing in a search term? 
An advanced file system extraction is going to give you the best likelihood of recovering these types of data and much more. This is also why this level of advanced extraction protects you from issues of spoliation later on if the matter goes to litigation. You see, you'll be able to say that you created a perfect snapshot in time of all the data that was recoverable. You see, if you retained or appointed an expert who only did a logical or standard file system extraction when these advanced methods are possible, you're opening yourself up to many attacks. These include the inability for the other side's expert to do an independent analysis of all the data that could have been recovered from that phone because you failed to preserve it correctly in the first place. Now, in some types of cases, this may not matter, but if you're dealing with, as in our example, a motor carrier accident case, it does because what matters is what happens not only on the second, but between those seconds with fingers touching the device. That type of information and much more is only gonna be recoverable once again with that full file system extraction.